Yo, what's up, my DD peeps? How you guys doing? I am excited to talk to you guys today. And first of all, I gotta let you know, it's like 1.55 a.m. and I'm up late. I am tired, but I am super pumped. I'm overstimulated on caffeine. Um, my wife is sleeping just on the other side of this wall and my four-year-old is asleep too, just next to her in the next bedroom. So I need to be kind of like, shh. I gotta be somewhat quiet. So if you're wondering why the hell I'm kind of whispering, that's why. Because if I wake them up, you'll never see another vlog from me ever again because my wife will straight up kill me. So let's get to it. Why am I excited? Furcon's finally done. Now I can't be loud, so I'm gonna put in some like sound effects of the crowd cheering while I put my arms up. Yeah. Kits on, wraps on. Thanks so much to James at Signature Auto Body. Huge shout out to Ryan and the team at Protective Film Solutions. They got this car on Friday. They unwrapped it, they rewrapped it, and they got it on the transport today so that it's on its way to the East Coast for a spade rally start. Now it's gonna go to Detroit because I need to drive the car over the border. The logistics and paperwork of trying to transport a car over the border is a nightmare. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll fly into Detroit, meet up with my boy Nick, and we're gonna drive together to Toronto for the start of the rally. Now, there's some, I still have a major issue. It's the last snag in this whole plan. I need tires. The car is still on winter tires from Snowball Rally in January. <laughs> and they're beat the hell because I was doing donuts and all sorts of crazy stuff in them. Their winter tires, they would fall apart on this rally, which would put myself and my co-pilot in danger and I don't want to do that. So I need to find tires in like the next week so that when I fly out there, I have about a 36 hour window from the time I pick the car up in Detroit and drive it to Toronto to find a shop, pop some tires on, and fingers crossed we should be good to go for the rally. So far, it's my favorite car to date I've ever had. So you guys let me know what you think of it. I'm gonna get some, I got some camera phone footage cause I didn't get to go down there. So Ryan and Logan from Protective Film Solutions, shout out to you boys for uh, doing some uh, video footage for me so we could show my crew. And um, I'm gonna insert that. So you guys check out that, let's do it right now. Check out the footage of the car being built. And then when you're done that, I'm gonna explain the rest of the vlog. What's the verdict? What do you guys think? Drop a comment, tell me what you think, be honest. Now, for the rest of the vlog, I wanna show you some really sick footage of when I went to Silver Arrow looking for tires. I was on the hunt, I'm still on the hunt for tires. 
I went to Silver Arrow with the purpose of asking them if they could hook me up with a deal or they knew someone who could get me tires and ship them out to Toronto. So long story short, I walk in and they have this car they've been telling me about that they've been waiting two years. This car has been in the making for two years. It's a classic supercar. It's worth $1.4 million and they just had it restored and it's in better than when it left the factory condition. I hope you enjoy that. Pray for me that I'm gonna get some tires for the Huracan. Thanks for watching this video. I'll let you guys check out the footage and then I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Drop me a thumbs up please if you enjoyed these videos. I really appreciate you guys. I'm gonna see you soon. Peace. Holy shit. Holy. This isn't really your stuff, huh? <laughs> Get out of here with that. That is amazing. Pretty cool. Wow. So this is the this is a roadster, right? Yep. That's what it's classified as. Mm -hmm. I'll throw you in the camera here. Sweet. So what is it? Tell 300, me about 300 SL Roadster. 300 SL Roadster. These things are worth like how much? Uh, one and a half million. <laughs> one and a half million dollars. Anyhow, I came to they see you guys because I have a major problem. I need tires and I'm having a hard time finding tires for my Huracan. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can probably help. Okay. Well, let's find out because I'm screwed if I don't have tires. I can't drive. I can't drive a 3,000 kilometer rally in the summer on winter tires. They'll fall apart. I won't be able to keep up with anybody and it'd be extremely dangerous. I convinced him. You know Lake, right? Yeah. He was here over the weekend. I convinced him he needed to go out. What do we got? Yeah. 245, 30, 305, 30, 20s. Yeah. 305, 30, 20s. Well, I'm sure that breaks up your day from doing about 20 quotes for truck tires. Don't put, call us back. Putting the feelers out? Put the feelers out. Appreciate it. Okay, bye. Guess what the list price is on the rears? <laughs> what? $1,000 a tire. Get out of here. Yeah. What can you do them for? Uh, installed, done, 2600 bucks. I'd need to get them, I need to buy the tires and have them shipped to Toronto. That's fine. All right. Let me <laughs> let me see if I can shop that around a little bit. Twenty six hundred dollars? Isn't that cheap? Uh, That's no, cheap. Know. No, not for P. They're just P zeros. Yeah. They're not like the Corsa or anything better. It's just a lot of money for four tires. I'm gonna wreck the two the rear list, ones in no the, time. The list price is a thousand. Holy crap. Per tire. All right. Let me make a few other calls before sounds I pull like the trigger on it. It sounds like a deal. Joel's, well, we're not making anything on it. Joel's buying me tires. Sounds like a deal. No problem. How about another Ferrari? Screw it. Let's just jump right into a four, 458 Spider. My audience is freaking out right now if I put this in the video because they're going to be, they love this car. Really? Everybody loves this car. It's been the sell the. Like love the 458 Spider or love the white 458 Spider? Just love the 458 in general yeah. because of the one I built. Yeah. I've gotten so much, you know, probably a 75% response. Sell the Huracan and get one of these again. On a nice sunny day, we gotta take this thing out. I know. We took it, actually, we took it out on a nice sunny day. Awesome. Great. And you car. know what? My statement is that it's subtle because it was. Yeah. Not that many people actually stared at me. Let me check this thing out, actually, for a second. Tim's still up there. See guys, told you it wouldn't last long. The turbo is already, so it's gone. Where, when does it leave? It's gonna go, it's gonna go east towards Ontario. And it'll probably leave in the next couple days. Just waiting to get paid. 
<laughs> I was hoping one of my viewers was going to buy it. Everybody wanted me to buy yeah, it. Viewers could buy the 09. I, we still got to talk about it. I love that car. I love that car. Oh yeah, I'll give, this, I'll give you the run down. First ride ever. This is a little car for two big dudes. Undersized car, not oversized dudes. That's right, that's right, that's what I'm that's what I'm going with. Today it's probably worth 1.4 million US. Wow. It's just another car. It's got a big price tag, but it drives like a car does. That's what I love about you. That's why we get along so good. It is just a car and, and people can appreciate it still at a high level, but you know, I think at some point, you know, they were all designed to be driven. And these cars, you know, we've sold many of them with several hundred thousand miles on them. Uh, they're they were built like a, an absolute tank. This car, I would get in right now, actually any 300 SL, that I got the opportunity to just make sure that the tires and brakes and uh, fluids were up. I'd get in it and drive to New York today, no problem. Wow. It'll make it without question. They're great for running to the bank if you need to go put a deposit in too. <laughs> this thing is insane. Quick jaunt to the bank, you know? That's how Tim rolls. We just took a 1.4 million dollar USD, that's like, you know, close to 2 million Canadian. SL Roadster, wow! I'm kind of lost for words, so if I'm not like rambling off here, don't mind me, we'll just enjoy the car together. I did notice it's only got one mirror for the exterior. It's obviously got the rear view mirror, which sits on the dash. It doesn't sit up above like they used to, or they do now. I am more than happy to just be along for the ride to the bank. So this one's sold or for sale? For sale. So 1.4 right now asking? 1.4 US seller. an experience. So this is the private tour. They're not open yet, but we have... Uh, so should I turn this off? No. Nope. We have two of our cars in there. Oh. What? 
What? Holy mother of... So this is, uh, this is where Rudy and company, who did our car, is moving to. This is their new shop that they're going to open this month. So this is our amphicar. <clears throat> Look at this thing. You're taking that milk lake. Oh, it's the, it's, oh, it's this, the boat this, car. This is the boat car. So Check this, this out. Tim wants me to drive this in the lake. You're he wants to sea test it. Next week we have to uh, photograph it for auction. We're sending it to Monterey. Oh, okay. So the photographer said it'd be nice to see it in the water. Yeah. So I said, well, I got just the, the guinea pig to see if it floats. <laughs> So pack a life jacket next to you. Pack a life jacket, he says. So this is the beginning stages of ripping a car apart and restoring it all. Amazing. They bought them just as an example of how a car comes in so they can leave them there and show them. Show people start to finish. So cars come in looking like this, guys. Yeah, this thing's seen better days. So this is the uh, Austin Healey 100M Le Mans. So that was a very, very special car. It was built for racing, as you can see how the window folds back and whatnot. <clears throat> Your average Healey in this condition, which is perfect, is probably sub 100,000. This one's closer to a quarter of a million. Wow. So, and it's all about production numbers. I don't have the Healey knowledge on the top of my head, but it's in the, in the several hundred cars that were built like that. And a lot of them were raced and crashed and whatnot. And the guy that owns this loves supercars. And he likes supercars from the 50s. Yeah. And he likes late model supercars. So we got him, uh, we got him a Porsche 918. And then he's got uh, a LaFerrari as well. Um, he's he got from here? Going in the Roadster version. No. Um, but this one was just finished. When we got this car, it was red with a black interior. I can send you a couple pictures. And he wanted something that was what he spec'd out. So this is the same as the exterior color we're driving, the German Racing Silver. He put a green interior, which is correct for the year, not correct for this exact car. Uh, and then he put fitted luggage in and whatnot. <coughs> the goings have the folding steering wheel. So when you're getting in and out of the car, you can easily get in and out without having to have the steering wheel in your leg because there's this high hump to get over. I didn't know that. Yeah. Some guys only love go wings and some guys only love roadsters, but right. this is the quintessential SL. That's the best of the best. This whole place is out of my league. Chad, you'd be in love with this place. Look at the Porsche, it's the old one. Insane. Your backyard. Stand by for the episode. Sink or swim, that's what we'll title it. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, none of this was planned. I just stopped by Silver Arrow looking for tires for the Huracan because it needs new summer tires because it's got to drive like 3,000 miles on this rally. And I don't want to do it on winters, of course. And next thing you know, I'm driving around in a 300 SL with Tim and checking out all sorts of vintage, super expensive cars. Thanks for the ride. And look what we get out next to. Huh, SLR. And there it's Yeah. It's the tiniest Momo steering wheel. Like, oh yeah. Look at my hand. My hand can touch corner to corner this wheel, but it would sit like three or four inches off the ground. It is so cool. You got some Advan wheels, tires. Are those the are those the Advan tires or are they the R triple eights? The R triple eights. Yeah, great tire. Well, my friend, I gotta get on with my day. Yeah, no problem. Take care. Good so to I see say you. Hi. Hit me up on a DM. Like, hey, amazing drive, man. Sorry, we're Sounds doing good. the left-handed thing. I'll be back in a day or two. 
We'll do something with another car. Here, bring your goggles and your life jacket. <laughs> I'm so scared. I gotta go stay on the hunt for tires because without tires, this rally's not gonna happen. Sounds so, good. Thank you very much. No problem, we'll see you uh, later in the week. Absolutely. Sounds good. I need to go and check with uh, Big O Tire and see if they can't hook me up. 2600 is a bit steep. Is a bit steep for what I, uh, what I was expecting. So I'm gonna see if I can't get some cheaper ones, even if I can save a few hundred bucks. So what sizes are we thinking? Same uh, as we did for the winters? Uh, yeah, the stock. So it's a 245, 30, 20. Ontario? Yep. Let me just see what I can find here. Hey, these will work. There you go. The tire's brand new from 2001, still with a sticker on it. No way. Seriously. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, can get, I, can get some new, I can get some new wheels for the Huracan to go with it? Yeah. I, can. I think these are like the lightweight ones, right? Yeah. Holy, those are heavy. They got, oh, they got them all, the Lambo specific zeros in Brampton, front and rears. All right, so we are, uh, fingers crossed, we can get some tires, and Lucas is gonna try to get a location in Toronto to ship them out uh, so that we can find a location to get them installed in time. Obviously, we start the following morning because I won't have time to do it then. I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs>